Welcome to the Clear Checkbook tutorial series. Clear Checkbook is an application that helps you manage your finances online. One of the many ways you can add your transactions to Clear Checkbook is by connecting your bank and having your transactions sync automatically. We're going to walk through this process, cover the various settings for syncing transactions, go over how to manage custom categorization and keyword replacement, and finally how to deal with accounts where you both manually enter transactions and have them synced. We use a third party, Plaid, to handle all of our bank connections and transaction processing. They're an industry leader in financial services and are used by a huge portion of companies who need similar financial services. Once your bank is connected, transactions typically sync once per day on business days. Some institutions will send data more frequently while others may be less frequent. Bank syncing is available to all Clear Checkbook Premium members. We also offer a special sync membership for a smaller monthly fee. The sync membership gives the free membership the ability to manage bank connections without any other premium features. Both the Clear Checkbook Premium and sync memberships allow connecting up to five distinct institutions. To clarify this, an institution would be a bank like Wells Fargo or Bank of America. The number of accounts authorized with each institution doesn't matter. If you connect your Wells Fargo account and authorize a checking, savings, and credit card account, that still only counts as one connection. If you have more than five institutions, you can stack both the premium and sync memberships for a total of 10 institution connections. Let's go to the account settings page now and look at the different types of connections you can make to your bank. On the account settings page, scroll down to the bank connection section you'll see two different options for how you want to connect your accounts. They may seem similar, but there's a big difference with how they handle historical transactions and account creation. Option one will make a connection with your bank, create an associated account and clear checkbook for all the accounts you authorize, download as much historical transaction data as possible, and set up the balances so they match your bank. The amount of historical data is usually a maximum of two years, but varies from institution to institution. This method should be used if you haven't been managing the accounts in Clear Checkbook and want to have as much historical data as possible. Option 2 will only create a connection with your bank. Once the connection has been made and you've authorized an account, you'll be able to pair that authorized account with an existing Clear Checkbook account. This option should be used if you've already been manually entering transactions for an account but want to have the data start syncing automatically. We'll cover the pairing process a little later in this video. I'll walk you through the first bank connection option now. To do this, I'm going to click on the Sync Your Accounts button in the Bank Connections section. One thing to note is the Sync Your Accounts button in the Create Account form at the top of the page is the same as this option. Both will create new clear checkbook accounts and download transaction history. Clicking the button will open a connection with Plaid where we'll select our bank, enter our login details, and then select the accounts we want to sync. In this example, we'll connect our Bank of America checking, savings, and credit card accounts. You'll first be asked if you want to enter a phone number. If you've used Plaid in the past, it will remember your connections and won't ask you to log into each one. I'll skip that and search for Bank of America. Some banks will send you to authenticate at their own website while others will be done through the Plaid portal. I'm using a test connection right now which is why this isn't pulling up the actual Bank of America website. I'm going to enter test credentials now to continue with the connection. There may be some authorizations you need to select before continuing. These authorizations are set by your bank and outline what data can and can't be collected by Plaid. I'm going to select my three accounts and then continue. Once we're redirected back to Clear Checkbook, we'll see the accounts are being created and the historical transactions will start to download soon. This may take a few minutes depending on how much transaction history you have. Each account will be given a default name consisting of the name of the institution followed by the name of the account. You can customize these if you want the accounts called something else. Once the sync is done, you'll be able to go to your transaction register and see those accounts and the associated transactions. Now let's look at the second connection option which is authorizing a bank and then pairing the authorized accounts with an existing clear checkbook account. I've already been tracking a Wells Fargo checking account manually but now I want to let the transaction sync automatically. I'll click the Authorize New Bank button. 
and you'll see the same plaid portal you saw for the previous connection method. I'll go through the same process but this time select Wells Fargo. I only want to authorize my checking account at this time, so that's the only account I'll select. When the connection is completed, I'm redirected back to Clear Checkbook and can now see this connection appear at the bottom of the Bank Connection section. You'll see that it shows the authorized checking account, but it's grayed out and italicized. This means it isn't currently paired with the Clear Checkbook account and no transactions will be downloaded since there isn't anywhere for them to go. To pair this with my existing Wells Fargo checking account, I'll scroll up to the account list and click the link to Bank Link next to my Wells Fargo checking account. This will find a list of all authorized accounts that aren't currently paired. Once I've selected the account, I'll click the Connect This Account button. Now the account is paired and any future transactions that post to my Wells Fargo checking account will sync over. What happens if I've had my Wells Fargo checking account connected for a while and I open a new credit card with them and I want that to sync as well? It's easy to update which accounts are authorized at an institution. To do this, I'll go back to the Wells Fargo entry in the Bank Connection section and click the Update Authorized Accounts link. This will open another Plaid portal where I'll enter my Wells Fargo credentials and select my credit card. After the authorization process is completed, you'll see the new credit card authorization appear under my Wells Fargo connection. I can either go through the same pairing process I described a minute ago, or I can click the Make New Account in Clear Checkbook link. This will create a new Clear Checkbook account and pair it with the authorized account. If you close one of your accounts or no longer want it connected to Clear Checkbook, you have two ways to handle this. If you want to stop bank syncing for an account but not remove the connection, you can click the Unlink button next to the account name in the Accounts list. If you want to delete the entire connection and stop all syncing for those accounts, click the Remove Connection link next to the bank name in the Bank Connection section. Neither of these will remove any past transactions or delete the actual Clear Checkbook account. It will simply remove the connection and stop any future transactions from syncing over. There may be a time when you need to update your login at your financial institution. Since Plaid ties your connection to your login, if any login details change, the connection will fail. When that happens, you'll receive an email letting you know and then be directed to the bank connection section here to fix the connection. This process simply involves authenticating the connection with your new login credentials. The next thing I want to go over is all of the settings related specifically to sync transactions. We can find these settings by clicking on Settings at the top right side of the page, then click on Sync Transaction Settings. The top of this page has a section called Global Sync Settings, and these all deal directly with how your sync transactions behave. I'll go over some of the most popular ones, but you can learn more about all of these settings through the Help section. The first option I'll talk about is the one called Use Pre-Assigned Categories. When your transactions sync to your account, they have categories assigned to them by default. These may or may not be useful to you. If you don't want your transactions to be automatically categorized, you can turn this option off. If you don't want your posted transactions to be marked as cleared, you can turn off the option called Set Posted Transactions as Cleared. This is useful if you want to manually clear or reconcile your synced accounts. Finally, let's talk about the options related to handling duplicate transactions between those manually entered and those synced over. There's nothing wrong with manually adding transactions to an account that's connected to your bank. 
Sometimes it's helpful if you're writing a check or schedule a bill payment and want to enter those transactions before they show up on your bank statement. The first duplicate option called Check for Duplicate Transactions will show a small alert icon next to a sync transaction if the system thinks it might be a duplicate of one you've manually entered. This gives you a heads up that you may need to merge the two transactions manually. I'll talk about the merging process in a little bit. The second duplicate option is called Automatically Merge Duplicate Transactions. When this is enabled, the system will attempt to automatically merge the manually entered and sync transaction together. When this happens, it will take all of the information from the manually entered transaction and apply it to the sync transaction, then delete the manually entered one. I want to make a quick clarification. When I'm saying manually entered, I'm referring to any transaction that wasn't added to clear checkbook via the sync. This means any transaction you enter through the add transaction form, through a bill payment or recurring transaction or via the import transactions tool. Another really helpful way to manage sync transactions is our keyword matching and replacement tool. This is found below the global sync settings section of the sync transaction settings page. The keyword matching and replacement tool is where you can enter a keyword that shows up in your sync transaction description and have adjustments made to the transaction. For example, if you regularly buy groceries at Smith's, you could enter the word Smith's into the keyword field, select your grocery category, and optionally replace the text with something a little more friendly, such as Smith's Groceries. There's also the option of picking which field this text is applied to. If this field is left blank, it will be applied to the default text field, which is the description field. The choices are description, memo, and payee. When the match is set up, Anytime a new transaction syncs with the keyword Smiths, the category and description text will be replaced. There isn't a limit to the number of matches you can set up. Setting these matches up will help automate the categorization process, especially if you turn off the automatic bank categorization in the sync settings above. Now that we've gone over all the connection methods and settings, let's look at our transaction register and see how these sync transactions show up. The first thing you'll notice is there's now a link icon next to the account name in the account balances section. This lets you know the account is connected to a bank account and the transactions are syncing. You can hover over this icon to see when the account last synced. Sync transactions will show up with a cloud icon next to the description. This lets you know it was a sync transaction and wasn't entered manually. By default, Sync transactions will have their cleared status changed to cleared if the bank identifies the transaction as posted. Pending transactions will have the word pending prepended to the description. We recommend not making any modifications to pending transactions since there's no guarantee the transaction will remain in your register. Most banks will remove a pending transaction and then re-add the posted version. This can cause confusion and frustration if you edited the pending transaction and then lost your edits when the posted version replaces it. The last thing I'll talk about relating to sync transactions is how to handle manually entered and sync duplicates. I already mentioned how you can use the global settings to automatically merge these. If you'd prefer a more hands-on approach, you can do this manually. There are a few ways to handle this situation. The first is to simply delete the manually entered transaction when the synced version appears. Deleting a synced transaction isn't advised since the transaction will be downloaded again during the next sync when the system doesn't detect it in your register. The next method is to expand the potential duplicate transactions box and merge transactions here. This box will only appear if you have the check for duplicate transactions option enabled in the global sync settings. The final method is to select both the manually entered transaction and the sync transaction in the transaction register and then click the merge button in the with selected action bar. Merging transactions through the merge button or the potential duplicate transactions box will take all of the details from the manually entered transaction and apply them to the sync transaction, then remove the manually entered transaction. More information about managing manually entered and synced transactions can be found in the Transaction Register Knowledge Base article. To find this, click on the green help link at the top right side of the Transaction Register. The two sections related to merging transactions are called Merging Transactions and Synced plus Manually Entered Transaction Duplicates.
You can also learn more about setting up your bank connections, adding authorized accounts, and more from our knowledge base. Just navigate to the Sync with Bank section and click the Connect to a Bank link. If you need more hands-on help, please contact us through the Contact Us form at clearcheckbook.com.